Well, I guess it's about time that I put uh, a Black Ops 6 video with all the clips that I've made during the beta, but I've just been not enticed to edit it, I guess, because I've been focusing on my commentary videos more than clip compilations, I guess. I It's just easier to make a commentary when I'm playing a game actively. I guess because I swear to god I have some form of undiagnosed ADHD so I need I just multitask better I don't know if that's the right terminology I'm using but fuck it we're gonna roll with it but uh, I'm just gonna make this as like a my thoughts on Black Ops 6 um personally I hate this game I do not like this are there gonna be Call of Duty meat riders who are trying their best to get their own fucking promo code or whatever for the battle pass? Sure, they're gonna meet ride and whatnot, but this game, it's it's awful. I can't stand this game. Um I don't I don't know, it's uh, it's a mix a big part of it is definitely the movement. I despise the movement in this game it's it's so unnecessary it it feels like it doesn't belong almost because there's no way you should be able to sprint backwards and be able to dolphin dive along with when you land you can slide cancel it, it, do, it doesn't make fucking sense I mean I granted they're, they might be going for a more arcade st shooter style on this game. I don't know. But the thing with Call of Duty is they're all, Oh, this is the most realistic game. When you got a game that has a gun like I'm fucking using, this Jackal PDW, which is... It's like you take an AK and you turn it into a dwarf, essentially. But, I don't know. It not enticing to me eh, for the realism part at least but my main thing that I hate about this game is the movement but there's other things like the perk system I can't remember the perk system exactly because it's been a while since I played the beta but the perks they are eh those are expected to change within the games it's whatever new game whatever the kill streaks are copy paste like it's been for decades now. But the one perk that I find really annoying, or not the perk, the kill streak. Apologies. I don't like that that kill streak that you can turn into a spy or whatever espionage. I don't know what the fuck it's called. It essentially blacks out your name on the kill feed, and you'll see it in the gameplays maybe but it blacks out your name so they don't know if you're enemy or friendly and you can kill the enemy as like them thinking you're one of their own and so all they have to go off is the skin I'm not sure if it makes your name tag blacked out above your head or whatnot or if it changes anything but it it's annoying I got killed like that once I'm like what the fuck man and Alright, and second off, the things I don't like is the maps. The maps are terrible. This desert ruin map, it's so stupid. And the map that I hate the most is that goddamn supermarket map. That map is so pointless. There are so many things they could have done better. Like, why is there like... A giant Walmart parking lot in the back spawn on one side and then a double the size on the other side and then you get to the other end of the map like the left hand of it and it's so it's like one spot that's all packed together and then openness and you might have a car or two to work with and then the supermarket itself it's designed like the fucking labyrinth that the Minotaur in ancient Greek 
was sitting in. You need like a strand of thread to retrace your steps just to even find it out because the mini map in this game doesn't show the map right for it. You only see the roof of the building. You don't see the inside of the map on the mini map. You don't see where the shelves are. You don't see the registers. You don't see where the walls are. You just see them roof. It's so pointless. So you're going in blind every time. And when the UAV pings, it's just the normal UAV, the dot pings. So you're going off the dot. It's The dot's right in front of you. No, there isn't. There's a wall there. You didn't know there's a wall there because it's not on the mini map. It's so pointless, man. There's so many things they could have done better, and yeah, it's it's just a giant mess. Uh, and don't be giving me that. Oh, it's just the beta. They have much room to improve. No, the beta is the game that's releasing. They aren't changing anything. They might fix a bug here or there, but they're not adjusting any of the... They're not changing the lobby. They're not changing the gunsmith. They're not changing the mini-maps in the gameplay. Only thing that they're changing is bugs that if you, like, can get under the map or, like, is this wall spawns in. That's the only change that they're making to it. And speaking of walls that are changing, that, like, museum penthouse map, I don't know what it's called, but the fact that there's moving walls in it is so stupid. Like, they're so unnecessary. I get it changes up gameplay and all that. But it ruins, like, oh, hey, I went through here before I died. I'll just re-rush that same route and go up, jump out that window and go up the staircase to flank them in case they're holding that angle. No, I can't do that because that wall just decided to come down for no reason. It's so stupid. And, and now, oh, I can't flank them because I have that sniper shotgun loadout and the sniper, it, it, the sniper is decent. I'll give the sniper credit. It's pretty decent. It one-shots where it's supposed to. I think I've only had one time it hit marker and I got pissed about it because it's a sniper. It should one-shot. But the shotgun is where I get at. Because I'm about to sound like Jeff. When I use the shotgun, it is a three or four shot to just kill him close range. Like, from my face to the microphone away, it, it needs two to three shots. But when I get killed, they can be on the other side of the map and somehow one shot me with it. For example, that hasn't happened. But the inconsistencies of this this game is... I rant about it in Modern Warfare 3 about inconsistency with things like shotguns and hit registers. It's so inconsistent. They can't just fix it. I don't know if it's because of like when you shoot the shotgun, each pellet in it has its own pixel as like a bullet to register. I don't know. But when I see their body inside the uh, crosshair circle, if their whole body's in there, I'm damn near expecting every pellet to hit and get the one shot. Maybe two shot if they're from a range. But no, that doesn't happen. Because it thinks I need to put three or four into them. It just bewilders me that this happens. But I don't know, man. This game is. I give it to like season five, is when it gets good. Because they drained all the awful content out finally. They've somehow listened to. The community for one second of their time and they'll adjust minor things and the game will be decent to play for like a half hour until you're on the verge of wanting to kill yourself but yeah there it's not gonna be good until like season five or six so I'm not I personally don't plan on buying it right away instead I plan on buying NHL 25 just as an example 
Call of Duty ain't getting my money for this one. But, yeah, this, it's a whole mess. I don't like it. You're going to have the cod cocksuckers go and say, Oh, this, this is a really good game po to progress from. The only thing that I look forward to in this game is the campaign. That's all that I would look forward to. And even then, it's going to get spoiled for me because of YouTube. And so I'm not going to be bothered to play it. It's like the Modern Warfare 3 multi not multiplayer, sorry, campaign. That got spoiled to me within the first three hours of its release. So I'm like, man, what the fuck, man? Now, could I have not watched the video? Yes, that's possible. But at the same time, I don't know, man. Like, the way they did Marvel for 3, early campaign access, sure, it gets sales up. Woo, that's all Activision cares about is money, straight up. They only care about the money. But then you get the community who's like, oh, let's pump out videos to people. And just expect them to watch pre-release and whatnot. Which I get, like a teaser here and there ain't gonna hurt anything, that don't spoil shit, but... You get people that are bored and whatnot. I don't know. That's why I never uploaded campaign gameplay. It's like, man, I don't. If I have someone in my audience that hasn't played the game and all that, I don't want to spoil it for them, man. I I rather them see the multiplayer gameplay and then like, oh, maybe the campaign might be decent, or watch like trailer. And, oh, it might be okay. I don't know. I just I just get bad feelings about. <sighs> people that upload campaign the first day like give it a couple days before you upload it fuck it. I, I know you want the money that's the main thing for all humans is greed and they want the most and it's just so scummy I feel like and yeah the, can there be people that just you just don't watch it if you don't want it spoiled well don't give us the option and we won't have the curiosity, man. Th anyways, that that's my 13 minute rant about this. I can't... This is just a recap. Game's awful. In my opinion, it's awful. I'm not buying it. I prefer spending my money elsewhere. And I hate people that spoil the campaign. So, that's the main takeaway. My suggestion, don't buy it. Wait until season four or five play the old Call of Duties if you have them or something else that won't make you want to kill yourself such as Call of Duty play something good it's that simple anyways that's just about all that I had I just wanted to get this rant out of the way just yeah like subscribe channel's doing good really appreciate it yeah that's it I hate this game later